everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch gallery wrapped canvas and what I'm going to do is a two-tone base. I'm going to be taking half of my canvas and it's going to be this very pretty light yellow com color and that came from a combination of Blick Titanium White and Amsterdam yellowish medium. So half of my canvas will be that really pretty light yellow color and then the other half is just going to be the Amsterdam titanium white. Let's and I'm doing a funnel pour and what I'll do is I'll put my two-tone base down and then fill my funnel and then just move it around the canvas and do some tilting and we'll see what we get. So let's go over the balance of my paints. My next paint is the Porridge Posse Snow White Iridescent um, Pearl and Ellie's Evergreen Shimmer. I combined those in this bottle. Very pretty. My next color is a color I made up called Mysterious. It's a combination of four different colors. My next paint is Amsterdam's Paint Gray mixed with Amsterdam's Prussian Blue. My next paint is Master's Touch Turquoise Green. Very pretty color. My next paint is Chroma Krill Deep Green. Really deep, deep dark green color. And my last paint is the Amsterdam Greenish Blue. And this is one of my favorite colors. All my paints today were mixed seven parts the mix, one part paint, and I just added a tad of water um, to all my paints. No silicone is going to be used today. So what I'm going to do is stop the camera. I'm going to put my two-tone base down, bring you back, and we'll start painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I've got my two-tone uh, base coat down of the white and the light yellow. Here's my funnel, and I'm just going to get started laying down my paints, or filling my funnel, I should say. And I'm just going to uh, put small amounts in here to start. I'm trying to keep that funnel flat on my canvas here. I hope everybody's having a good day today. Monday, start of a new week. And I am using just some plain white in here too. This is that mysterious color. And I will pretty much try and fill up my, my little funnel here. If you noticed, I'm using mostly the blues and the greens and a little bit of yellow white here today. You just can't go wrong with uh, blues and greens. A little bit more white. While I have my white, I'm going to just Squirt a little bit around where I'm starting out with my funnel. And add a little bit more here. And let's end with a little bit more yellow here on top. Okay. I'm just going to try and pump it up and down here.
This is a fun little pour to do. Okay. And I am going to give it a torch. a few of these paints out of my way here so I can do some tilting. And let's do some tilting. As you tilt, pay attention to your composition as much as you can, what you're pulling off of the canvas, and leaving on any areas that you really like. I think I will go off this edge here a little and bring it back. And I'm going to take some paint off of this corner over here. Just stretching it out and bringing it back. The more I'm stretching it, the more effects I really like. And I will be showing you those. When you use the mix, it tends to let you see different layers. It has a good transparency so you can see the layers underneath. Okay, I'm liking that so far. And I am going to just uh, tilt to this corner, tilt some paint off. Okay, and now I'm going to bring that back. And as I'm turning my canvas, I am cleaning the bottoms off here. Just taking a look at it. I am really liking what's going on up in this area. And I think I will tilt a little bit more that way and bring it back just to stretch it out. And my paint is moving a little slower now, which is good. Okay, I'm going to bring that back. Can I have another look at it here? And I'm really liking this painting. It's beautiful. 
I, I like all the effects that I'm getting. Colors are blending very well together. And I'm going to check my corners here quick. Just maybe a little bit more tipping this way. And down. And now bring that back. Just trying to uh, spread that paint out a little bit. Okay. We'll take another look at it here. Clean my hands off. I will give it another torch here. I do like how I got the negative space in this corner. Okay, let's get you down for a close up. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close up, and this is the whole painting. And let's go up to the upper left-hand corner here. And as you can see, the transparency is so pretty with using the mix. You can see all the different layers of paint. Just coming down the left-hand side here. Can see some of that yellow peeking through there just really pretty and this is what I mean by the transparency you can see the different layers of green through that white there pretty area in here and this is just coming down the middle of the painting Again, some more transparency here. And here is that negative space I was talking about in the lower right-hand corner. And we'll just take you up the right-hand side. Again, a lot of transparency going on there. And here is the upper right hand corner so let me know what you think of this video give me a thumbs up if you like it make sure you share it ring the bell choose all so you'll know the next time that i do post a new video if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so so you'll uh, be aware every time that i do post a new video and it'll help my channel grow and until next time take care everybody Bye for now. Hi everybody. I just wanted to show you that off camera, here is the wet results. And what I did is I just took my skewer and along the edges, I added a little more interest. I'll just take you over the whole painting here. I just added a few little lines and a little more interest there. And just thought I'd show you that. That's something you can do to play with your painting. So again, thanks for watching and bye for now.